poteva andare nei vari luoghi, ma venivano da tutte le parti gli indiani a me e in questo modo ho potuto preparare circa 1500 maestri. This year, 2022, it's been to mark the 152nd birth anniversary of Maria Montessori. This is an opportunity to reflect on her work and show us how relevant it continues to today and into our future. Maria Montessori was born on August 31st, 1870 at Chiaravalli, Italy. She was confident, ambitious and optimistic. Maria's father, Mr. Alessandro Montessori, was a soldier and a civil servant. Maria's mother, Renilde Stopani, was a very well-educated lady. At the age of 13, Maria wanted to become an engineer and graduated from the technical school in the year 1886. She studied modern languages and natural sciences in the Regio Institute Tecnio Leonardo da Vinci from 1886 to 1890. Her parents wanted her to become a teacher, but Maria realized that she wanted to be a doctor. Maria's father was against her interest to study medicine as it was unthinkable for a woman those days in Italy. But due to Maria's strong will and with support of her mother, she decided to study medicine. She specialized in pediatrics and psychiatry and became a doctor of medicine in 1896. Maria was the first woman doctor of Italy. In 1896, Maria worked as a surgical assistant in Santo Spirito Hospital, Rome. She was a member of psychiatric clinic in the University of Rome, where she tried to educate mentally challenged. Maria was deeply influenced by the three educationalists Jean-Marc Gaspard Itard, Edward Zwigen, and Friedrich Froebel, who refused to accept mentally handicapped could not be educated. In 1898, Maria Montessori was appointed as the director of School of Orthofrencia, an institution for the care and education of mentally challenged. Maria Montessori developed a teaching program to enable the mentally challenged children to read and write. As a result of this, several of her 8-year-old mentally challenged students passed with above average scores in a state level examination for reading and writing. This is the first Montessorian miracle. To know more about the working of human mind, Maria Montessori joined for psychology and philosophy in the University of Rome. On 6th January 1907, Maria opened her first school named Casade Bambini with 60 children. Maria developed her system of education through scientific observation and discovered the ability of the children to absorb knowledge from the surroundings and learn naturally by themselves. Maria Montessori designed learning materials and a classroom environment that gave freedom for the children to choose their own materials. The children showed concentration, attention and spontaneous self-discipline. Montessori method began to attract the attention of the world. She lectured widely and wrote articles and books and developed teacher's training program to prepare teachers in the Montessori method. Maria published the scientific pedagogy as applied to child education for children's houses. Maria's first school became a great success and Montessori education adopted worldwide. To spread Montessori method, Maria traveled to United States of America, Europe and India among other nations. From 1913 to 1939, she covered countries like Spain, Netherlands and the United Kingdom. In 1939, Maria came to India with her son Mario. Between 1939 and 1949, Maria Montessori with the help of her son Mario conducted 16 Indian Montessori training courses and laid a very sound foundation for Montessori movement in India. Rimasi in Europa fino al 39, poi dopo sono andata in India e lì sono rimasta per sette anni. Adesso io andrò per qualche mese in India e dopo, se Dio vuole, tornerò in Europa. On 6th May 1952, her long self-sacrificing efforts came to an end. Maria Montessori passed away in Ludwig Ansi 
at the age of 82 years. Help me to do it myself. Um, that is the, really the essence of Montessori education. I'm Carolina Montessori, one of Maria Montessori's great granddaughters. Montessori approach is based on providing a prepared environment for children, so made to measure, where um, they can learn by themselves with very little guidance from the teachers. In, in, those, in the traditional kind of schools, at that time, children were seen as small adults, so they had to behave as adults, and of course they weren't. The whole idea of social justice and human rights, it's ingrained in her method. It's respect for each other, uh, respect for nature, respect for the universe, for our world. Uh, it's all in there. So she received many, many honors uh, and awards. But of course, the most honorable thing is that she was nominated three times for the Nobel Peace Prize.